going on guys? Today we got a 2006 Harley Davidson V-Rod. Showing you how to take both wheels off and on on it. Uh, I think I've done these once or twice before. It's been a while. But all in all it's pretty well, pretty easy. So uh, let's get started and show you how to get it done. Alright guys, I don't have, uh, I don't have my, camera, my light for my camera so I'm really using it for different lights here. I see a little glare. Anyways, there's these cut cap covers. You gotta take them off. So you gotta take this bottom bolt out for your, uh, your shot. What you need is a is eight millimeter Allen, and then on the other side is a nut. You're gonna need a 19 millimeter wrench to hold that in place. Our nut, slide our bolt through. I've already got the bike supported on a jack. The exhaust mount's broken right here. Let's, let's lift this out. Lift the shock out of the way. Kind of caps over this. Like I said, the exhaust looks good. There's a rubber mount right there that looks to be torn up. So, now we do that to the other side. It should be a lot easier since you get the exhaust to do it. Alright, next, after we've taken both the uh, shock bolts out and the axle cap covers, we're going to probably going to have to loosen up this. Uh, exhaust bracket mount or whatever so you can flex the exhaust out of the way. Don't be too rough with it. Take a flathead, put it underneath your safety clip, cover it, you might go slingshot anywhere. Then we're going to take a 36 millimeter wrench, loosen up the nut. Nut. I'm going to cover up the tip of this exhaust. I'm going to get it all chewed up. Take a punch or something like that. Loosen that up. There it goes. Slide out your uh, cam washer. On the other side. As you see, I've already moved the shock out the way, pulled the axle cover off. So I'm going to put the wheels off the ground. I'm going to put uh, lower the bike, get some weight off the axle, and then I'm going to punch the axle through. Alright, What I'm going to do is push the wheel forward, grab the bottom of the belt, kind of pull it off the pulley and walk it around. Lift the swing arm up. Other spacer fell on the other side. I got this spacer. I'm going to go back to the other side. Here's the other spacer that fell that's between the caliper and the wheel bearing. So, what I'm going to do is take a prying tool, gingerly, a little, you don't need a whole lot of pressure, and spread these pads open. Alright, so what I'm going to do is lift this up. There we go. I cleared the pads of the rotor, and then it allowed the caliper to push in just a little bit more for this to clear this, this tab. Alright, then again I'm going to take something, set this on it, just like that. Then, we take our wheel off. We got a drive hub, 
take that off. Got another spacer. And we got the rubber isolators. That's it, let's go do the front. Alright guys, let's park on the front. Hopefully the fan's not messing with the audio too bad. I did buy a new camera, new microphone, and uh, the last one, man, it was just messed up a lot of footage for me. So, anyways, we're going to take these, uh, these actual caps off. What is this? This is a tree millimeter. It's actually pretty big for uh, an actual cap one. Gonna loosen that up. Take that off. Now we're going to do a front axle, which is a 24 millimeter. washer and a nut. Take our caliper bolts off. 10 millimeter 12 point. Gonna be a 12 point. These two bolts, not these ones. They'll leak. These are your mounting hardware. Alright, first thing you do is support your caliper before you pull the last bolt. Because it could drop and hit the wheel. This one. Now I'm gonna twist it a little bit, open the pads up, take a rag or something. I like a Crown Royal bag. Put the caliper in it. This way you can let it hang without worrying about damaging anything. Let's do the other side. Alright, next, we're going to take this axle cap off. It is a 5 millimeter. But I would still test it first. Put your Allen wrench in there, or whatever you got. And make sure it's tight as possible. Because these bolts, the head of these bolts are really soft. So, if you're not tight, you're going to strip these things out. Then you're going to end up drilling the heads out and having to replace them. So be very careful when you just don't go ripping these things loose. Make sure your Allen is in there all the way and just watch it. Don't use any power tools on this. I mean, it barely took any pressure and it's already to break that loose and it's already bit into this head of the bolt. Now the other one should be a little easier, but still, make sure the Allen's in there all the way. Do what I did. All right, I've I've tried a couple things. Yeah, the head of the bolt is kind of starting to strip out, but I believe this bolt's kind of seized in there too tight. So what I'm gonna do is just leave it, and then when I'm tighten this one back down. Since all right, but this cap is loose enough to where I could just start knocking the axle out, support the wheel slide the axle out. I took the axle out a minute ago and tried loosening this up and I mean it should damn near spin by hand right now since there's no pressure on it but I'm thinking this bolt is somewhat seized in here and with it being as soft as it is I, I, I mean it's gonna have to be drilled out anyways but it's already in there where it needs to be I'm not gonna mess with it right now I don't have a replacement so, roll your wheel forward. You have spacers on both sides. And that's it. Now, I don't know with this wheel, the direction. What I'm going to do is mark an arrow 
on a rotation. This way, the, uh, you know which direction it came off in. Uh, and also, the person changing the tire knows what direction to put the tire back on. All right. Uh, since this one doesn't have ABS and all that, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the tires now. All right, guys. First thing we're gonna do is kind of is check our rotation on our wheel and our tire. They're matching. Make sure you check that before you leave the shop. Okay. And we're going to take our spacers. They look to be the same size on this one. We're going to slip them in. And get them started. I've already cleaned and uh, put a thin coat of anti seeds on the axle. Kind of get it started. Lift the wheel up. Let's go to the other side. I forgot to mention, there's a hole going through the axle. You want to take a screwdriver or something like that. You want that hole parallel with the ground. And also, Back on. Let me. Okay. We're gonna leave our screwdriver, or whatever, inside the axle. It's gonna keep it from spinning. We go to tighten it. Take our 24 mil. Check our brake pads. We're looking, we're looking brand new, basically. Now the bolts. Get them started. Always start the threads first. Tighten them down. Take our actual cap, our three millimeter Allen. I like to have the set screw facing down as best as possible. Now these are tiny, you don't have to torque the hell out of them. That's it. Let's go to the other side and deal with that bolt. With this bolt being seized, it's probably where it needs to be. But now, say if you were able to get it off, when you go to tighten these two down, you want this gap even on each side. Uh, I, and these things don't get torqued down a whole lot, especially since they're soft. I think it was like 10 to 12 foot, foot pounds. It's not that tight. Not that tight. So... I'm gonna tighten it uh, to where I think it should be, but if it starts to feel like it's stripping, stop. You ain't going any further. Okay. So the gap's almost the gap's almost looking pretty even. So I know it's gonna be good. So how hard it is to get this thing out. Again, make sure your Allen wrench is in there all the way. See right there, it's just no warning. That's the
That's it. I'm not dicking with it no more. Until the customer is going to have to get new hardware, what you would do is just drill the heads off, and then this cap comes off, and if you have to, move the axle out the way, but you can, should be able to, at that point, it should be like studs, grab it with a pair of pliers and, and twist them out by then. But once you get this head off, theoretically, the threads, there should be no pressure on the thread, so it should just come off by hand. But I believe this one's locked up. So what we're going to do is spin the wheel, pump the brakes up. Take our actual cap, same thing as the other side. Have the set screw facing downward, cap flush up against the fork, not super tight. That's it, let's go do the rear. Alright guys, now we're going to take our rubber isolator, stick it in there. Grab our spacer, stick it in the middle, and then our drive hook. Get it in there, two dot. Now, obviously, check the rotation, it's really easy on this one. Just rotor on one side, drive on the other. Again, check it before leaving the shop. Gonna roll the wheel in, get the belt kind of somewhat position. Gingerly lower it. All right, rear brake time. Check our brake pads. Looking pretty good. Now, kind of got this rubber tab here. Sometimes it gets hung up and then it gets flexed up. It needs to, you know, so you gotta make sure that's going on properly. So, kind of get this gingerly in there. And let us. I think I need to go up just a little bit more. There it goes. Kind of grab my flathead and kind of push down on that rubber piece. There it goes. Give it a wiggle. As we go down, there it goes. It slid on. And then I'm going to line up my caliper, brake pads with my rotor. Ta da! I like to wiggle the wheel to make sure it doesn't bind on anything. All right. They're gold. Let's go to the other side. Alrighty, guys. I've already went ahead and cleaned and pre-lubed with anti-seize my axle. I'm going to take our spacer and lift the swing arm up a little bit. And let us get our spacer in there. I'm going to get our belt going. There we go. Stab our axle on it, shall we? Now I'm going to stick the other washer between the caliper and the wheel real quick. We do have some wiggle room with the caliper as far as up and down. You can use that to help get the clear. Done. Not that hard. Next we're going to take our cam washer, it's got a D-slot cut into it, so that fits. You can kind of see the, uh, the witness marks on here where the nut was riding, so that goes outward. There we go. Side, there we go. 
again pull the axle back or axle exhaust back a little bit get our nut started let's grab our 36 mil now what we're going to do is We're just going to snug this up. Just get, once it starts tightening up, just leave it right there. Now what I'm going to do is, this washer is welded to the, this side of the... If this adjusts your belt tension, someone has already marked it where it goes. So I'm going to put it in that same spot. The reason you tighten up the nut is to keep this axle from just, you know, it stays where you put it. Until, you go, until you're ready to tighten it up. Oh, check my belt tension. Feels good. But one thing you need to do is I'm going to temporarily put a bolt in here. You need to get the wheel off the ground because you need to spin the wheel to even put uh, even slack in the belt because it, uh, it could be too tight on the, on the bottom but loose on the top and then when you go to spin it and evens out the, the slack in the belt then now your belt could be too loose so like right now it's, it was just too tight now it's fine so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down the axle and while you're tightening the axle watch it make sure the axle doesn't spin then you're going to lose your adjustment. There we go. There you go. Now, if it's spinning on you, get another wrench to hold the other side of the axle to keep the axle in place. Then we're going to put our safety clip back on. Come on. There we go. Take our axle cover. Move our exhaust out the way. Our exact exhaust cover. Man, I'm out of it. Axle cover. Let's put our shock back in place. Grab our shock bolt. And it's not wanting to line up. Oh, there it goes. There she goes. Now this is a special nut. This uh, this end here. It, it's you see it's cut because what it does is it pinches down on the on the threads. Thread that out just a little bit. Let's thread this out a little bit. Whacked you. Get our nut in there. Can. Nope, no way. There we go. Get this started. There we go. Grab our 19 millimeter, and this is a 8 millimeter Allen. Let's tighten her down. I'll, I like to turn the nut and just hold the Allen because if you try to put torque on the Allen, you might strip it out. But I doubt this one will, but just good practice. There we go. And then you would reattach reattach your exhaust bracket. But this one, the rubber, it seems it's separated. Let's go to the other side. All right. Again, I'm going to spin the wheel. Check my belt tension. Uh... I'll take this bolt back out, put my axle cover on. Now this bolt goes through the uh, belt guard as well. So, It's almost started threaded. It might. There it goes. Same thing with this axle. Same kind of or axle. Man, this nut has a goes on a certain direction. Go ahead. 
have room. Let it back out a little bit. There we go. There we go. Paper 19. There we go. That's it, folks. Uh, pump breaks up. Take first spin. There you go, guys. 2006. Harley Davidson V Rod. I showed you how to take both wheels off and on. Not that difficult, but that that front wheel axle cap. Uh, I hate them things because the hardware on it is extremely soft. They I don't I don't know why manufacturers. There's other manufacturers that use that use that same material like, and they tend to have a tendency to strip out. Even when you torque it down to the, their specified spec. It, it, it after so many times it digs and digs and then finally it's just it can't it has no more to dig it just strips so uh with this bike the guy said it sat for years it's a 2006 he bought it with like 1500 miles from the houston area which you know they get a lot of flooding down there extreme flooding from hurricanes and it brings all that salt water so i don't know you know what i'm saying so just be cautious, all right? But it's still an easy fix, relatively easy fix. A drill bit and a pair of pliers, honestly. That's, yeah. So, anyways, you guys like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Be gentle, though, I guess. And don't forget to subscribe until next time, all right? Adios.